How's it going guys? Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to be teaching you guys how the world three works with the runaway hammer brother. I get a lot of people asking in my channel whenever I'm streaming, well, why did you reset there in world three? Like what happened? I want to explain it. And for the most part, I do explain it, but for some reason I need like a visual there so that someone can perfectly understand. So today I'm actually going to teach you guys how the runaway bro in world three works and why it affects our runs so, so much. And like, it, it's just, it's so bad. It's the worst. It's one of the worst things. Now, sometimes you can get lucky, the Hammer Brother can run away and then he can come back, but that's rare. And even at that, it takes up a movement of one, two, three, maybe even four. You're just losing time anyways. But let me jump right in and give you a little bit more of an in-depth explanation of how it works and a good visual so you can see for yourself how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna make this tutorial pretty quick so we can get through and you guys can understand and I'm gonna make it pretty simple. It's not overly complicated, but it is if you don't have a visual. The first thing you want to look at is the bridges, okay? We got the bridges right up here, okay? What those bridges do is they open and close after every time you do a level and or Hammer Brothers. Before we beat any level or any Hammer Brother, we're gonna go across the screen here. And we're gonna look at this bridge right here. This is the most important bridge right here, right below level six. First things first, level six is an auto scroller. We don't want to do level six. So if we have a cloud, which lets us skip a level, if we use that cloud to go across level six, when this bridge is down, we can skip level six, seven, and the fortress. Let's go back across the screen. The bridge is open when we start the world, okay? Follow with me. As it starts open, after every level, the bridge opens and closes, including Hammer Brothers. So if the bridge is open when we start the world, it's gonna be closed after level one. And then it's gonna be open after level two. It's gonna be closed after level three. So it's open, closed, open, closed, open, closed with the Hammer Brother open with four closed after the hammer brother the perfect amount of levels and hammer brothers to get through this world and by the time you make it over here the bridge will be closed you can use the cloud to go across if we're doing the world and we do level one and two and this hammer brother right here after level one he moves up and then after level two he comes across we don't have enough levels anymore so this is the big problem we don't actually need this hammer brother we don't need the item the hammer brother gives us but we just, we need him to have this bridge closed. A Hammer Brother is much faster than any level you'll see in, in this world. Any level you do is way slower than doing a Hammer Brother. So we're gonna choose to do the Hammer Brother instead of say, you know, level five or something. If he goes across there, not only does he do a movement of two right across here, and sometimes a movement of three down here, he could do another movement of three and another movement of three. So it's just wasting time. Now, since we don't need the item from the Hammer Brother, lots of people have asked me, well, why don't you just take a quick death in six? The bridge will be closed after you die. If you take a death, if he blocks your path and goes in between eight and nine, not only are you taking a death, but now you're doing the Hammer Brother anyway. So not only did you waste the 20 seconds dying, you're now gonna waste the extra 12 seconds fighting the Hammer Brother also. You won't have your Fire Flower anymore. The best case scenario is you can get your Fire Flower in World 4 Fortress 2 which is a long ways from now. And I just wanted to give you guys a much better visual of how World 3 works and why it's so crucial. There's, there's really nothing you can do. When this Hammer Brother moves over level six, pretty much an instant reset. For someone who's trying to grind for a 51, 52 and stuff like that, when that Hammer Brother does the runaway, it's pretty much over. Now, there's only one thing you can do. You can see the way the Hammer Brother's positioned right here. Um, all he needs to do is move up and then to the right and he's gone, right? So that's that's two levels. He can do it after level one and two. If he runs away after level two, you might as well continue doing level three, the fortress, the hammer brother, and level four. Just because he's moved over doesn't mean after you do level three, he's gonna he can move back. He can move right back after. He can move across level six. He can go to seven. He can come back. So you might as well take your chance and hope that he comes back. But if he doesn't come back, it's not worth continuing. And it's certainly, certainly not worth taking the death losing your fire flower and then having to accidentally fight him anyway. But I just wanted to explain that to you. Hopefully that answers some questions. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little tutorial there for you and uh, thanks for watching.